fall restraint versus fall arrest. Do you know the difference? What's up everyone, I'm Brooklyn with JJ Safety, and in today's video, we're breaking down the key differences between fall restraint and fall arrest. Whether you're working at heights or just curious about safety measures, this video is for you. The main difference between a fall restraint and a fall arrest system is when they are activated. A fall restraint prevents a fall from happening, while fall arrest stops a fall that has already started. A fall restraint prevents a fall by keeping workers from reaching a hazardous area by keeping the worker within a set work area on a raised platform. Fall restraint systems are often made up of a horizontal safety light and a lanyard attached to the worker's harness. A fall arrest stops a person from falling and hitting the ground below after they've already started to fall. This system allows workers to move freely while preventing them from falling. The fall arrest system takes into account the free fall distance, deceleration distance, D-ring shift, and more in order to calculate where the system should be placed to prevent the worker from hitting the ground when they fall. To make it a little simpler, with a fall restraint, the worker does not fall. With a fall arrest, the worker falls but is arrested or stopped mid-air before they reach the ground. Fall restraint and fall arrest systems are both a part of a fall protection system that is required by law when working at heights. Fall arrest should be used as a last resort and should include a rescue plan. Fall arrest is the last resort because they allow workers to move freely, which increases the risk of falls. And this system does result in the worker falling and requiring a rescue as suspension trauma is a main hazard after a worker falls. Alrighty, so now that we are familiar with the differences, when do we choose between using a fall restraint system and a fall arrest system? Two main things to consider when choosing between the two are the work area and the work area slope. If the work area is contained in the center of the space, a fall restraint system is best. If the work is near edges, a fall arrest system is better. A fall restraint system can keep workers in a contained area on a sloped surface, while a fall arrest system can give workers more mobility on sloped roofs. As a general reminder, fall protection is required by OSHA at the following heights. For general industry, 4 feet. For shipyards, 5 feet. For construction, 6 feet. And for longshoring, 8 feet. All right, everyone, that is a wrap on today's video. As a recap, we've discussed the difference between fall restraint and fall arrest, when to choose each fall protection system, and height requirements for different industries. Again, I'm Brooklyn with JJ Safety. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us online at jjsafetyllc.com or call us at 866-627-3850.